Welcome back to Britain Farm Homestead. This is April. Today, I'm going to let you guys see our spring innovation for the Gladiator Challenge for Shed Wars 2021. So, Shed Wars 21 is a collaboration of gardeners all over the world that come together, give tips and tricks how to garden, and show people how to grow their own food from home. Be more self-reliant. So we are on Will It Grows team, and the first challenge is something, a spring innovation, something that you haven't done before. So we chose to build a cold frame. We've never had a cold frame before, so we built one, and we chose to build one out of straw bales and some windows we had laying around. And the reason we chose that is because once we get done using it as a cold frame, we're going to plant inside the straw bales. And that's going to be a whole nother video about prepping the bales to be able to plant in them. But um, our spring innovation is um, the cold frame. And the cold frame works really well so far. And it's going to help us prolong our growing season. We had seeds in our windows that we had sprouted. They were getting bigger. We needed to move those out even though we can't put them in the ground yet because it's still a little chilly. Uh, we need to move those out so we could plant some more things and get some more starts done. So we've moved out four flats of tomatoes and we've planted two flats of carrots and two flats of onions to take their place in the window. So it gave us more room. But I'll show you how we built this. So I did a lot of research and I thought, what can I use to grow in and dual purpose it? So I could use it for two different things. And this is what I come up with. And I'll show you. So I've made a cold frame here to take some of the plants out of the window and I'll pop in a video here of showing all the plants that were in our windows starting seeds where we started our seeds. Well, we need those to go out somewhere right now because we need to start other things in the window to go outside. So I'll show you what we got going on here. So we had a couple of well, three windows here. We have several more. Three windows that were just laying around. I bought six straw bales. Now, I use straw because hay has more seeds in it. Um, and when we get done with this cold frame, we're actually going to plant in these straw bales. I've never planted in straw bales before. I've actually never used a cold frame before. So, it's dual purposing. I'm using it as a cold frame. Once these plants get big enough, it gets warm enough and I can put them in the garden. And then I can go ahead and plant in these straw bales. And I'm gonna take, take you step by step how to plant in these straw bales. But right now we're just gonna kind of look at what's going on with the cold frame. So we needed some plants moved out of the house so we could put them in this cold frame and start more things in the house. So we've started carrots and onions in the house now. And we have two, four, four, four trays. I don't know. We're fixing to take the windows off and see four trays in here. And I think we have room for two more that can come out, but I'll show you what's going on. All right. So we just got six. Katie, the cat is wanting me to pet her. Um, we got six straw bales here. And they're regular straw bales and we've turned them up with the strings on the outside katie get out of the way with the strings on the outside because when it comes time to plant we're going to plant up here and there's preparation that you have to do to these straw bales to plant in them and i am going to take you step by step on the process how to do that but right now let's look and see what we've got inside this cold frame all right, so our cold frame had three windows on top. I've just moved these two over. And we've moved all these tomato plants out here in this cold frame. They seem to be doing great and thriving really well. We have four trays in here. We have room to put two more that will come out. Right now we just have four in here. We have planted two trays of carrots and two trays of onions in the house now that we can start. And these are just waiting for it to get warm enough to go out in the garden. 
But look at those bad boys. Aren't they looking nice? So with this cold frame, unless it is getting below 35 degrees, these will just be just fine right here where they're at. If it's going to get above 50 degrees, I have to come out here and open one of these windows. Just take one of the windows off the top just to keep everything from cooking on the inside. So basically this is made out of six straw bales. There's two bales on each long end and then one bale on the ends down here. So we just put these together and then we put just some frames, some windows we had um, laying around on top and it works great. Um, as you can see, there's the tomatoes on the inside. So this is going to let us get these out, you know, outdoors sooner. And we are going to, it's going to dual purpose. We're going to use the bales to plant in after we get done. And then once they're done for planting season, we'll just break the rest of these bales apart, leave them on the ground. And it's going to compost and make this dirt better right here where it's at. So I guess you could say it has three purposes going on. But this is our spring innovation. I hope you're liking our videos. If you are, go ahead and subscribe, like, hit that bell notification. So you can keep up to date on any videos that we put out. Especially if you want to know about planting in these straw bales. Because that will be in a future video how to condition these to be able to plant in them. But um, it's the best way you can support us. And it's free. So why not? I hope everybody has a wonderful day. God bless you all.